study, I was looking at some smooth hair and markings on the back of a tiger. I wanted to get down a light base coat layer of brown ochre 10% first to protect the orangey brown fur. Before building up the layers of this area, I marked in where the dark markings were going using a Payne's Grey 60. Before putting in too many details, I like to build up some layers to establish some tonal values and base layer colours, considering whether they are warm or cool. The tiger has some lovely pinky and burnt ochre within the fur. Before building up too many layers in the orangey brown fur, it is important to work up those dark markings and establish those really dark tonal values. This makes it easier to judge how dark you want the lighter areas to go. When working up the dark markings, I like to use a range of colours, not just black, as I feel it gives it more richness and depth to the fur. Once I've got some base layers down on the orangey brown fur, I like to start building up that fur texture in the strokes I use, working from light to dark, leaving areas of the base layers showing through. When working on those final layers of the black markings, I used a firmer pressure to get the intensity I was looking for, being sure to leave some of those lighter bits of hair showing through. To really capture them, I went back over with a Payne's Grey 30 and a white to highlight and blend some of them in. It's important to consider the transition colours between the markings and the orangey brown fur and the shift in tonal values. If you look carefully, you will see some ready purple colours in these areas. The Tombow Mono Eraser is a fantastic tool for lifting out the highlights in the fur. It can soften an area of hair without being too harsh, depending on your pressure. Once I've used it, I like to go back in and add in any final details with my pencils and I also like to use a slice tool for lifting out those little hairs. I then repeat this until I'm happy with the overall effect. The real-time version of this video is available as part of my Learn How to Draw Tigers in Coloured Pencil course. See below for more information. Happy drawing! Bye for now!